The Minister for the Environment was answering questions from Marlene Hassanaun in Parliament about the government's commitment to the climate emergency. He said many of the measures require changes to long-standing practices, and so while first stages of implementation would be early in the life of this parliament, some will take longer than others to reach full fruition. However, he said the timescales set in law by the Climate Change Act will all be met. The final draft of the Climate Action Plan is being revised as a result of the conclusions of the COP25 summit in Madrid and set out how the government intends to meet targets for 2030 through to 2045. One of the first tasks will be the appointment of a climate change committee and this will be done before the end of January 2020. One of the solutions, however, won't be electric buses, at least for now. In answers to questions from Elliot Phillips, Dr. Cortez explains the possibility of converting the current bus fleet to hybrid electric or fully electric had been explored, but the conversion wasn't found to be technically feasible. Trials for new vehicles had also been explored, but these vehicles didn't perform successfully on Gibraltar's roads. He said, however, that the current fleet of buses produce very low emissions compared to other vehicles. Mr. Phillips also asked about the highly polluting two-stroke engines. Dr. Cortez said these accounted for 50% of the particulate matter pollution on our roads and said the government was considering a ban. A ban on the importation of certain vehicles, including those with two-stroke engines, will come into effect in 2020. Dr. Cortez also confirmed that 40 fixed penalty notices had been issued for dog fouling since DNA testing was introduced in 2017. This out of 242 samples sent to Germany, costing 35 euros each to test. Turning to traffic, Minister Vijay Daryanani, in answers to questions from Mr. Phillips, confirmed that over 17,000 fines have been issued for speeding since the fixed position speed cameras were installed in 2017. Just under 5,500 of these have been retracted. Ms. Sassanaon asked if the government would be implementing any form of background security checks on both leaseholders and renters in respect of parking spaces in St. Anne's and Notre Dame schools. Mr. Daryanani said parking spaces would only be sold or rented to residents of Gibraltar who are registered leaseholders or tenants of the area.